the revolutions that we witnessed in the Arab world were begun by youth, so was the revolution in Egypt. Youth took the lead and they were then joined by people from all ages and even by children. Even the martyrs who fell during the revolution were from the youth and now it is time to make use of this enormous force and the first step is to increase the political awareness of our youth and to shed more light on this issue we're delighted to have with us this morning uh, as our guest Mrs. Dalia Gabelli, human resources consultant and a self-help trainer consultant. Uh, Mrs. Uh, Gabelli also has several titles. Uh, she is uh, one of the first Arab uh, emo trans trainers and she specializes in the art of dealing with life challenges. Um, the trainer of challenge and success. Thank you very much ma'am for joining us this morning on The Breakfast Show. Welcome. Thank you very much. Now tell us more about the role of the youth in every nation which has witnessed a revolution in this Arab Spring. Mainly youth are the main, uh, com main capacity of, uh, of our nation in Egypt especially. Uh, we are the majority of the, uh, the, the, uh, of the Egypt population are youth. So uh, they are uh, a very critical factor in the future uh, creation. And when, when they started uh, saying no or started saying that we need something or we need some uh, how that people can concentrate on our needs uh, they are they was they were suffering really that's why they try to to make it as uh, great as possible to say that we are here we are here uh, the use of Egypt they, they really want different Egypt new Egypt uh, with uh, with all what they uh, saw and they interacted with through uh, new media and uh, internet uh, all over the world, and they are facing the the the, the real miserable uh, <laughs> um, reality they are facing mm -hmm. day by day. So they need to have a connection between what they saw and what they really live in. Mm -hmm. That's why uh, we can say that. Uh, the revolution is uh, is for use and about use and through use because uh, most of the people and the population is use. Okay, uh, but um, with the revolution, not only the Egyptian youth started to get more and more involved in politics, but also the entire society. Sure. But talking specifically about youth, they lived for most of their age having very little to do with politics. And now, all of a sudden, they are very much involved in politics. They have to make decisions. They have to face the media. Don't you think that this overexposure could result in some serious mistakes sometimes? Uh, sure. For some people, it's it's overexposure uh, uh, because uh, some people were 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 the first time for them to to be uh, through media uh, is through uh, and during the revolution itself. That's why uh, they were be they, they were a part of what is happening in the streets after after the, the, the first 18 days of the revolution and that's why uh, many pop, uh, many um, uh, the, the mob or the hub of people in the street and the square and uh, they feel that they are not represented in the television or the media because people who, who, who left them to be uh, all over the time uh, through media and uh, facing people and talking to, to, to them through media they, they somehow be, be neglected or uh, disconnected with, with the, old, uh, the, the others. Mm -hmm. That's why, uh, sure, it's, uh, it's over uh, exposure, but uh, for politics and political issues, I don't think so. Because really we need that people, um, you know, we're, we're prohibited to, to talk about anything about politics. And even through our uh, movies and our media, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's forbidden, it's some taboo to talk about politics, mm -hmm. like to talk about religion, like to talk about sex. And all the taboos are, uh, are needed to talk about. People need to, to talk about. People need to understand it. People need to uh, know more about it. So discussing it and being uh, free to, to talk about it and to aware people of it, this will, will will neglect many problems, you know. Mm -hmm. Dalia, of course it is important to talk about these taboo issues, but what are some of the other aspects as well of 
of social life that must be included when it comes to creating awareness for the youth? This is what I'm, what I'm doing nowadays um, is through my political awareness uh, seminars. Uh, I'm not only saying that uh, the authority is blah blah blah, the country is contained of uh, how many authorities and how they are dealing each, each to other mm -hmm. and what is the parliament and how, what, what can party do for others. This is all, all okay and this can be produced through media. But what I'm focusing on, what's in it for me as a person, as a youth, as a, a young man or woman, a girl or, or a child even, what's in it for me to share in this life, to know what is happening, to, to be a, par, uh, a part of the political life and political uh, um, you know, community. Uh, I need to be one of the community. I need to be one of the, 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 the new Egypt, the people who are building new Egypt. Even I didn't participate in, uh, in the revolution, I need to continue the revolution to be a part of it, this for anybody. Of course, me, I, I, I participated in the in the Tahrir Square, and before Tahrir Square, I didn't, um, you know, I didn't uh, ask people to, to go to Tahrir, or or I didn't promote it for the 20, uh, 25th of June, uh, ju uh, January, but I was, uh, you know, uh, uh, tweeting quotes to tease people that not to be satisfied with the status quo. Mm -hmm. That, okay. That's that's what I need to, to say. That what what's in it for anybody to be a part of the community life. Okay, this is Delia El Gibeli. Uh, you said you have a program on the art of dealing with life challenges. Mm -hmm. What is this program about? The, the name is very indicative. Of course, it, it tells everything. But tell us more about it. Yes, uh, the the idea is that all of us have many problems in our lives that we named it problem. But the difference uh, of this program that we are doing with and the, the normal people who are thinking about problems that we differentiate between a problem and challenge. How can we uh, transform a problem to be a challenge? A problem is always uh, something that can barrier you from having your own dreams or hopes or wishes or even goals to be true. But a challenge is it's something that can, can open new door for you, a new way to satisfy your goals, wishes and hopes mm -hmm. through doing it. So if you can have uh, uh, two children, two uh, twins, having the same similarities in everything, and even in the same parents, the same uh, uh, building up, the same class and the same class teacher, and uh, one of them is very successful in his life after being grown, and the other is nothing in life. Mm -hmm. And you ask them, why? Why, why you became so uh, successful? He will say to you, because um, uh, my teacher was teasing me to, to, uh, to feel that I can get more success and get more challenges with myself to be better. The other one will say that the teacher was was teasing me that I became very uh, suppressed and very uh, 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 non-optimistic. Uh, so that's why. It is the, so the, uh, the react of the person, the response of the person himself can transmit from a problem to a challenge. And this is what we are teaching and training in this program. How can I uh, uh, be responsible for what is happening around me? Responsible means responsible. How can I be able for my responsive, uh, responses to any problem to make it a challenge? How can I? Mm -hmm. Mrs. Talia, let me ask you, how important is it to involve uh, such sort of training uh, in schools, from primary schools, and incorporate this kind of mentality and thinking with children in order for them to grow up with this political, social, and um, how do we say it, smart kind of awareness? Yes. Um, let's talk about what is happening nowadays. Mm -hmm. You know, all of the, 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 the people of the Sanawiya uh, Amma, they are one of the primary people, 
uh, they always go to to primary uh, uh, faculties, but after one or two years, they are not that successful that way that they are. So why? Because they don't have a goal. They they uh, they went to a medicine faculty because they had the the highest degrees, but they don't have the goal, the 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 mission. Why? to be a, a medicine, why to be a doctor. So uh, from the school, from the nursery school, when, the, when we taught people, when we taught children, what, what is your mission in life? Why you are there? Why you are a person? Because I have a mission. I have a, a mission to satisfy. Once you satisfy your mission, you will end of your life. It's, this is the end of your life. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have a mission from the beginning, so you are not alive. That's why this is the main important main importance that we need to uh, promote awareness from the childhood, from nursery schools, and moreover, it's not just a goal. But how can I achieve my goal? How can I um, be uh, uh, positive uh, uh, with with my colleagues? How can I have positive attitudes to others, to uh, different people with different backgrounds, different religions, different attitudes, different um, uh, point of views? Uh, how can I deal with the, with the people with disabilities, for example? We, 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 we are talking always about uh, inclusion, but if we don't have the, the, the awareness from ch childhood to, to accept others, we cannot talk about that. Okay. Uh, back to um, your efforts to promote awareness, notably political awareness. So are you with the idea of allowing the politics and uh, political activities in universities? Sure. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing that from my background that started from uh, not only uh, uh, university but also the school. Uh, through my, my history uh, teacher, then, then uh, the political science courses that I took in the university, but uh, I also participated not in my university, but in, in Cairo University, the political science faculty, uh, the uh, the, mo the models, the imitating models of the U and and the EU and the American Congress, and uh, you are imitating what is happening in the reality. You are using your uh, your small knowledge to to be added through. Uh, uh, Play, play, uh, play role. You are, uh, for example, I was Amr Musa in the Arab League, <laughs> and I was uh, uh, William Burns in uh, the American Congress. So you need to to have their point of views. You need to know what what they are, their background, f they are talking from, what the decisions they were taking in that period. What uh, what if they have another point of view or another decision? How can it uh, it uh, it is changeable and it can uh, make the difference? So uh, I'm really was practicing politics in universities because mm -hmm. we are we should have a free country. Absolutely. We should be liberal in our minds, not in our economics. <laughs> Absolutely, uh, Mrs. Okay. Daria Gibeli, Human Resources Consultant. Thank you, ma'am, very much for being with us this morning on the Breakfast Show. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And ladies and gentlemen, we now move to take a look at some of the latest entertainment news. Stay tuned.